Good morning. I got pulled over by a police officer for the first time last night. I've had lots of police cruisers go by while I was out riding in my Quest and also in my Cedar Strip walk, and no one ever took interest until yesterday, uh, actually afternoon, and I was in a hurry to get home, and I was almost back, and I was getting ready to turn right on to uh, one of the uh, probably the busiest road that I ride on. It's still not that busy, but a uh, police cruiser pulled up behind me and uh, I turned onto the road and I was riding part way down the road and they decided, okay, we're going to pull you over. So um, we had an interesting conversation. Um, I asked him what the problem was and he said, well, I'm not sure that thing's legal. I said, well, it's a bicycle. Oh, well, how do you how do you signal in that thing? And I said, with my turn signals. And so I turned my turn signals on. Um, I'll give you an idea of how things are set up here in the Quest and how I uh, how I signal stuff. So you get a little bit of a lighting tour here. So uh, I run with that button turned on. That button runs the very bright front and rear flashers. The running lights aren't really all that visible, but the uh, flashers, I've just made a mistake of looking at one, are quite bright and visible from the sides and from the front. And they're much more effective than these silly little running lights that probably could just plane be removed from the circuit and pulled out of the vellum mobile and the holes filled. Um, anyway, I'll show you what the turn signals look like. They're activated down here. There's one in the back, there's one in the side, and then there's one in the front. They are quite small. They're not overly bright, but they are visible. Here in the video they are actually not as visible as they are here actually in person. But they can be seen from behind. They don't throw as much light when you're back behind. And they're not all that eye-catching. But they are there. And I think most drivers, if they were paying any attention, would see that they're there. Anyway, I was actually turning right, so I would have had the right one on. And the police officer was directly behind me. So, he should have been able to see it. From where I'm standing, which is probably about a car length away, you can see uh, the back and the middle blinker. And they're going off and on, so if you're not too distracted by the incredibly bright blinker. I just made the mistake of looking at it again. They are visible and even from this angle I can still if a person's paying any attention can tell that there is a back blinker going. Obviously from this side you're not going to see any blinkers but you're not going to see that in the car either. And even from this angle it is possible to see the one in the front. Again, the video is not going to pick it up quite as well as you're going to see it in person. There's also two headlights. I don't ever turn those on. They put out they put out some light, but I don't think it's enough to actually be very helpful. And I don't ride at night anyway, because nighttime is for sleeping or watching YouTube. Anyway, um, aside from that, this top switch runs the turning light, the uh, running lights, and this bottom one is just a map reading light. And that's the extent of the excitement inside for the wiring. So anyway, um, the extent of the remainder of the stop was... Um, he wanted to know how often I rode, and I said, eh, pretty much every day. And um, he's like, well, 
has anybody ever run into you? And it's like, uh, only one time when somebody at an intersection wasn't paying attention and turned right as I was crossing the intersection and hit the side of the Velomobile. And I'm not sure, aside from maybe damage to gel coat, if there was any damage done. It was here on the side and <clears throat> there's a little bit of remnants of the scuff mark here on the side. Some of it I was able to wash off but I haven't actually seen any structural damage inside uh, all of the um, <clears throat> the boom, the aluminum boom and the wheel wells and the bridge and everything all look like they're very well attached still so I think I probably got lucky on that one but um, I said aside from that I've never had a problem with drivers they just slow down and they video me it's like oh well that's good it's like well uh I think you got balls of steel to to to, to ride that thing and was, I'm thinking no not balls of steel just thighs of steel so that's uh, that's the story of my first police stop uh, hopefully the rest of the local police force won't be quite so eager to pull over uh, a poor little white guy riding a weird-looking bicycle fast <laughs>